Now, why is he using bows now? Why are, why are things different? Oh no! Terraria's Thoria mod is a mod that adds a lot of new content, new bosses, new weapons, and more. It also tries to replicate the style of vanilla Terraria, so many people call this mod a DLC to the vanilla game. I wanted to go the healer class, but healer is a multiplayer oriented class, so I decided to get my friend Colt Colossal to join, and he's gonna be playing Thor. His channel will be linked in the description, and he's seriously underrated, so go subscribe to him. I also hit 20,000 subscribers, but now I'm going for 100k. Yes, I know we are very far off, but come on, you gotta subscribe. Enough stalling, and let's begin. So we both spawned in. What's your character, bro? You're the default. I don't care about character customization, man, okay? There's this item called the Family Heirloom that was already in our inventory. We checked what it was used to craft, and... Mjolnir. The hell? It's an endgame weapon. After I chopped some trees for wood, I was able to craft my first healer weapon, the wooden baton. What the hell is that? Bro, look at this. Bro. After I built a house, I went exploring a cave. I managed to get a band of regen, but I didn't get very far. Oh! Bro died to a poison dart. After dying a lot of more times, I decided to just chill at spawn a bit. And Colt gave me a healer support weapon called the recovery wand. Now you can recover me, let's go. Then we explored more caves. I found this new gem called Opal. What is Opal? Opal? That's a new gem. And in a chest I found a weapon called the enchanted staff. It's mage though, so it's useless. I also found this new ore called thorium ore, but I couldn't mine it with a copper pickaxe. Then a blood moon occurred. But when I respawned... Oh my god! It just straight up spawn killed me. So yeah, in Blood Wounds there's this mini boss called Patchwork that can spawn. And coincidentally, it spawned on the first Blood Moon. But after a bit of time, we managed to kill the Patchwork. I don't even know what he's doing. So then I crafted a Platinum Pickaxe and I went back to the underground. And I was able to mine the Thorium Ore. After looting more, I was able to combine an Anvil and Thorium Ore to make a Thorium Anvil. I can make a thorium anvil. A thorium anvil? Which can be used to craft thorium bars. Oh, I can make so much stuff with this, bro. Also in the underground, there's this new ore called life quartz, which can be used to make a lot of healer stuff and life crystals. And as you can see here, I totally didn't die while I was mining it. Then me and Colt went into the underground ice biome. The underground ice biome enemies can actually drop these materials called icy shards, and they're used to make a lot of stuff. I also got enough thorium ore to make the full thorium armor set. I also got enough icy shards to make a new healer weapon, the icy shaver. And it's safe to say that it wasn't the best. Bro, this thing does three damage on a zombie. This sucks. <laughs> the healer weapon? Yeah, the ice healer weapon thing. Bro, they need a buff healer. So then we decided that it was time to fight our first thorium boss, the Grand Thunderbird. To summon it, you need to use a Grand Flare Gun and a Storm Flare. And you need to use the Grand Flare Gun in the deserts with a Storm Flare in your inventory. But of course, it wasn't going to be that easy to summon it. After we crafted the summon item, we went into the desert and prepared an arena. But of course, a slime rain happened. Oh no. Well, Why is it raining slimes, bro? Or, or should we just fight the King Slime instead? And eventually we killed enough slimes for the King Slime to spawn. And that didn't go too well. Ow! Oh no! I forgot it's master mode, bro. Oh, it's so slowed down. Oh no! But eventually we went back and we summoned the Grand Thunderbird. I'll heal you. Don't Skip worry. Oh, what? Oh my oh, god, it god. does so much damage. We're gonna beat this, come on! Yeah, this is easy. I know, it's just easy. But of course, while we were in the middle of the fight, Colt's internet disconnected. 
After he returned, he wanted to retry the fight, but the game had other plans. Never mind, I'm not going anywhere. Dude, if I take another hit, not in this phase, bro. I don't have Hermes boots. Come on, I'll heal you. No. Oh god. Don't oh, die, god. please don't die. Oh, you're I'm dead. <laughs> no. After that horrible experience, you retried the Grand Thunderbird fight, and this is the result. Uh, we can actually beat this. He's about to dash. Yup. That takes some real Ultra Instinct. Bro, what is he going for? Let's go, we beat him! Hey, yeah, does like an, uh, an exit animation. Oh. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any good loot from this boss. Then we went back to grinding in the underground, and I found this lava chest thing. Bro, what? I just found a lava charm in that chest. What? And a ring of unity, I don't know what that is. Also, we did the goblin army, and I found this cool item called the dark gate, which makes a portal between one place and another. And when you use it, you also heal 25 HP. And trust me, this thing is going to be absolutely insane. Then the eye spawned again, but this time, it was different. Hey, Let's I go. just heal. Oh, look at that. Bro, that's actually so good. Let's go. Bro, yeah, we are 100% going to win. Let's, Let's go. go. We, we did it. it. Why do we say at the exact same time, bro? We said, let's go, we did it. Oh, bro, we shared the same brain cell. We're in sync right now. After we beat the eye, we constructed an arena in the corruption to fight the next boss, the Eater of Worlds. Okay, I think. Oh, God. I'm bowling, bro, I'm bowling. It's coming. Oh, there's going to be so much violence. Oh, let's go. I use the teleport. It's so good. Oh, oh, you actually use it to save yourself? Bro, it's blocking all the vile spit, <laughs> the weapon. It's blocking all the spit. Oh yeah, we're shredding this. We're There's shredding this now. Right Easy. Now. Easy. Die. I'm gonna clean up my mess. Let's go. I crafted a new healer scythe using demonite called the dark scythe. Then I farmed a blood moon, because blood moon enemies drop these materials called unholy shards. Once I got enough, I crafted them into purified shards in water and made the novice cleric armor set, a really good healer armor. Then we farmed another goblin army for you wood, a material dropped by the goblin army, and I used that to make the shadow wand. Initially I thought this was amazing, but it actually takes 2 HP every time you use it. Then I farmed the eater of worlds for a healer support item called the eater of pain, and it heals allies for a base of 2 health, not including the armor and accessories. After farming for more life crystals, I set up more pylons and set up an arena at the ocean, and we fought our next Thorium boss, the Queen Jellyfish. Oh my god, I ne I don't know how- What is that? Okay, so I don't have any any healing potions, so can I just real quick get some? Are you gonna live? I'll probably live, yeah. Okay. Okay. Just stay still- okay, there. What do you mean, stay still, so I can get hit? <laughs> what the hell was that? I just got hit by one of the bubbles, bro. I just got carried to... <laughs> oh, yeah, it carries you, bro. Oh, oh no. God. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Stay have, alive. Have we underestimated this boss? Use the healing potion. Use healing. Tell us jellyfish. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, oh. let's go. Wait, did it just despawn? No shot. Oh, no my shot. God. Okay, I'll summon another one quickly, quickly. Um, I'm not full health, bro. Who cares? The first phase is easy. It's only the second phase. It's fine. I love how healer it heals others, but the weapons uh, damage yourself. I'm like, bro, what's the logic here? You're sacrificing yourself for the greater good. We don't have any more healing potions. We can't go back now. Should I get more or is that too risky? Go get it. Go get it. Okay. Shop. Healing potions. About like 30. I'll go in two. I'll go in two. Let's go. Oh. Let's go. We beat her. NPC. Francis? Francis? <laughs> Bro, what? Bro, why is that name so funny? After we beat the queen jellyfish, we were able to enter this new biome called the Aquatic Depths. Oh my god, what is this place? I decided to grind some stuff while Colt explored the biome on his own. So here's some footage on his end. No. Why did why did the octopus's tentacles do damage to me? These modded Excuse me? Excuse me? Don't die.
so battle potion. Oh, there's a clam. Then we grinded a few materials in the underground jungle, and I crafted a new scythe called the Bountiful Harvest. I also crafted a new healer armor set called the Blooming Armor. Then we went to the underground and found the blood chamber, and after using five unholy shards in the altar, we summoned the Viscount. He's here. Alright, let's go. Well, he doesn't do he doesn't do any damage to me. Okay. Bro, he does like 40 something damage to me. He doesn't do any to me. I don't know why. What? No, I hex No, you <laughs> let the lava in! Oh no, bro. god. You, what are we gonna do now? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh god, he's coming! He's coming! He's coming! Oh no! Wait, he's he's coming back? Yes! That's gonna make it so much easier. D I'm a said... bat! Oh no, we're both bats. Oh! I'm a bat! Yo, I'm a bat! Bro! Whoa. I'm not a bat anymore. I'm just gonna stand here. Ah! Let's go. Let's go. After Viscount, Colt decided to explore the aquatic depths more while I made an arena at the dungeon for Skeletron. Then we fought Skeletron. Okay, should I summon it? Yes. Three, two, one. Guys, look, right, it's me! Skeletron. Problem is, th this weapon sucks. <laughs> what? The weapon <laughs> that I'm using. You can make better weapons, bro. I'm telling you, you're just impatient. Let's go! Yeah! Let's go, healer! Here it is! Let's go! Yeah, let's go! I even got the trophy! The trophy? Yeah, the trophy! Look, look! Nice! After that, I decided to explore more to the right, and I found the graveyard biome. There was this altar in the middle, and this is what happened when I clicked it. It seems to be dormant. When will it be undormant? Then we explored the dungeon, and I used bones and spikes from the dungeon to make dark steel ingots. And I used the dark steel ingots to make the Templar armor, the best healer armor set in pre-hard mode. While Colt was in the dungeon, he encountered this. The illusionist, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we summon it? Summon it. Why don't you do it, huh? Valor? It's gonna, it's gonna, it's summoning. <laughs> oh no, I'm fighting enemies. Bro, he's running. He is. This is so easy. Not there's two. Oh god. They shoot projectiles back at you. Is he gonna revive again? <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Ow. Oh, we beat it. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Then I went on a Hellstone mining session. Using the Hellstone, I made this new scythe called the Molten Thresher. This is so cool, bro. Look at oh, this. Oh, whoa. What the heck? That thing is sick. Then I made another weapon called the Omen. Why it uses 5 dude. mana and 2 life. Oh no, this gives me bad memories of the Shadow Wand. <laughs> then I made a healer support item called the Prophecy. Nah, look at this, look at this, look at this. Then we fought a mini boss called the Corpse Bloom. Oh my god, this actually does pretty good damage. Let's go! Thank you. So what did we what get? What did it drop? Weed Eater. Oh, Bloom Guard, healer class. No, like, look, uh, this doesn't heal you, it gives you buffs, though. Oh, yeah. You are recovering life and have increased defense. I also made a new weapon using dark steel ingots called the Templar's Judgment. What is that? Then I went to the underworld to open shadow chests, and at one point, I got the Light's Lament, another healer weapon. Bro, that's actually cool. Then I went to the dungeon and unlocked a gold chest to get the Bone Reaper, another healer scythe. After upgrading the sword from 320 to 480 storage space, I upgraded the Bone Reaper into the Falling Twilight. Think of it as the scythe version of the Knight's Edge. Bro, look at this. Hey, looks sick. Then we farmed in the Marble Biome, since enemies dropped bronze alloy fragments, and cults needed them to make weapons and armor. But we had some complications. <laughs> Oh no! Uh, that's uh, the berry champion. Um, <laughs> I'll beat it for you. Never mind. Eventually, we got enough bronze alloy fragments, and the next thing we did was build an arena in the granite biome so we can fight the granite energy storm. Ah! Oh, here's the granite elemental guy. Granite energy storm. Oh, this is cool looking. Oh my god. I'm going to die. Oh, never mind. How do, dude, how do I keep dying? Holy moly. <laughs> no. After building a better arena, we tried again. I can't. TP to me. 
No. Okay, you got this. You got this. You got this. You got this. Four. Three. No. Ho -ho. We tried once again, and this time we came out on top. Okay, here we go. He's gonna dash. He's gonna dash. Bro, you fool. Ow. I couldn't go anywhere. Oh no, it's a uh, deja vu. Oh, okay. Never mind. Use a dark gate. You're fine. Dark gate. Fine. Just go. Go. Die. Don't die. risk it, bro. Die. Die. Let's go. Let's go. What do you mean, don't risk it? This is not Weenie Hut Jr. <laughs> what? Then we made an arena in our marble volume for the Buried Champion, the next boss. That's a bizarre rock formation. No, that's the spawn! Where is your bizarre rock formation? <laughs> you know what? It's fine. That means we're ready. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. No, it's the spawner. Don't do it. <laughs> Whoa, look at that dodge. Oh! I'm so cool. Agree? I'm saying, bro. We're actually professionals. I know. Oh, he's got thingies. Oh no, never mind. We're not oh. professionals. We are not professionals. We're Weird, but it's fun. Easy. Hey, we beat Easy. him. Easy. That fight was actually really cool. Angel Champions fish. wings. New wings. Then we went to our nearest meteor and we found these enemies called UFOs that spawn near meteors. And they had a chance to drop this item called Strange Alien Tech. After we got it, we crafted the star color, the summon for the star scouter, and we summoned it. Oh no, my my mouse is getting hacked. It's accidentally going on the star star collar. Oh no, why is it holding it? Wait, Bro, is it gonna click it? Oh no, it clicked it. I hope we both die. Wait, it's a consumable. Oh god, I need to get another one. Wait, I made a mistake. Dude, you're you're such an idiot. You're like ten times faster than me, man. Wait for me. I know, I'm just better at the game. Ow, wait, how did that hit me? Wait, what is hitting me? Star Scouter be like, bruh, bruh, man, I'm dead. Man, I'm dead. What's it doing? What? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, the. Get up. Oh, my. okay. Die, you fool. There it is. Let's go. Let's go. That was so easy. Then we decided to fight the buried champion not once, not twice, but three times. For this shield thing that Colt was trying to get, I don't know. But the funny part is, we didn't even get it. Okay, we're not fighting it again, screw you. I actually want that shield though. No. We have to no. fight it again. We're fighting no. it again. Please. No. Please. No. Please. No. Pretty please. Well flush. Please? Wall flesh. Please? Wall of flesh. So we set up an arena in the underworld, then we summoned the wall of flesh. But I'm just gonna skim over this fight quickly because this fight was kind of pathetic. Wall of fish run! Right. Wall of fish run, let's go! Oh yeah, you have the texture pack. Look at this damage. This is insane. You thought we weren't gonna beat it, right? You thought we weren't gonna beat it, huh? Uh, nah. I managed to actually get the cleric emblem, the emblem for the healer class. Then we broke some altars for the hardwood ores to spawn. And we went through the painful process of mining through all the tiers of hardwood ore. Also, this new NPC called the Spiritualist spawned, and he sold a lot of healer stuff. I decided to buy the Cloud Scepter from him, and it's basically just another Nimbus Rod. After enabling a blood moon, I bought the warlock armor from the spiritualist, since it can only be sold in blood moons. Here are the effects if you want to pause and read them. I also made another healer armor set called the sacred armor. Here are the effects to read. Then I used Chi Chi to get my vanity back, just because it's vanity. It's cool. I'm gonna start using this vanity in all of my playthroughs. I also farmed underworld enemies because they actually dropped these thorium souls called souls of plight. And I used those to make the bone baton. <sighs> I hate scythes. I also made the sacred charge and the sacred bludgeon. The sacred charge heals for a base of 6 health and with all my armor and accessories, 17. And the sacred bludgeon is this. Then I bought 3 more healer items from the spiritualist NPC. The tranquil liar, I don't know how this is a healer weapon and not a bard weapon. The redeemer's staff, which is supposed to apparently return respawn players to their death location but I didn't know how to get this to work, and the Sentinel's Wand, which just heals all town NPCs. Then I went to the aquatic depths and mined up some aquite ore. 
so I can make the Iridescent Staff another healer weapon. Don't worry, we're done with the unholy amount of healer weapons now. So then I decided to go into the snow biome while a blizzard was happening, since we wanted to fight the Borean Strider. Oh. Wait, I got the Strider's tier. It's used to summon it. What? <laughs> I can literally summon it manually now. Okay, do you want to do it? Alright, here we go. What the heck is this? Was that your cat? Yes. Well, that's the first time I heard your cat. Let's go. It's like King Slime. It's King Slime, but with icicles? Yeah. Oh, its back is broken. Or it's, uh, what's it called? Abdomen? Never mind again. This is easy. Never mind again. Never mind again. And wow, there it is. so hard. Easily defeated. Then I crafted the Void Lens, the summon item for Cosnix, the Fallen Beholder. And we summoned it. Okay, three, two, one. Okay. There's a there's an underworld pot mimic chasing me. Oh my god. Oh no, he's gonna spawn what the lava the waves. He's gonna spawn the lava waves. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Run. <laughs> Run. Run. No. Run. He's spawning even more. Oh, he's fast. What is that? That does so much damage. Yeah, this is easy. We we got this. Easy. Hey, we Let's did it. Go. Oh, oh, Whoa. oh. <laughs> then we tried fighting Skeletron Prime, and that didn't go too well. Ooh. We're not gonna lie, we're gonna die. Yo! I think we're ready for the max. After we built a better arena, we were able to take it down. Let's go! Let's go! Then we fought the twins, and it wasn't too hard. Imagine if we die just to Red Nazer. We will not die to Red Nazer. If we do, then I'm quitting. Die! Why won't Bro, you die? Bring him down! Why won't you no. die? How did you die? I don't know. He was literally one hit. These materials called life-powered energy cells can actually drop from the mechs, and I used them to make biotech armor, another healer armor set. Here are the stats if you want to read it. Then we actually managed to kill the destroyer. Wait, cut that out, cut that out, cut that out, cut that- Then I farmed a blood moon for unholy shards to make the mind melter. It does good damage, but it's another one of the weapons that damage you. When the imposter ease. I'm keeping that. Do not, please do not. Then we mined for this material in the underground called Lodestone, which spawned after beating the fallen beholder. And we finally managed to kill the destroyer. Oh, God. I'm gonna die. I think I might die. Yeah, we got him. GG. Oh, this beams the destroyer. GG. We got him. We got him. Where's he at? He's dead. That's where he is. Then I mined up some Chlorophyte while Colt was singing Five Nights at Freddy's. Or, 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 or. I made a bunch of healer weapons and tested them, and the pocket guardian was the most useful one. It basically made me able to select someone as my pocket, and I could heal them. But the best thing about this is that it homes. This homes. Nice, oh my it god. Homes. Oh, this is this is overpowered. Then I farmed wyverns for souls of flight, and I made the subspace wings. It's a good pair of wings that combines basically all of the souls. I also made the Archangel's Heart, a very good healer accessory which gives me a lot of healing speed, maximum life, etc. Lastly, I made the Pride one, which makes me get healed every time I heal another person. So remember the graveyard biome we found right after Skeletron? I went back there and made an arena, because now we can fight the Lich, which is fought right after the mechs. Colt also went looking in the aquatic depths for marine kelp, since it's used to make a lot of thorium potions. Summons a mountable wyvern? Nimbus? What? Nah, I want that. Nah, I want it. I want it. I want I'm it. it first. I got all the Vanquisher medals. You can't buy it. What the? Nah, that's not a Wyvern, bro. What is oh that? Oh my god. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Why is he built like that? He looks just like you, man. Okay, I'm leaving, bro. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> no more slime mount, baby. And then we finally summon the Lich. Three, two, one. All right, we're fighting the Lich. He's here. Where's he at? Oh, you didn't oh, heal me. Oh no. Oh my God. This boss was a bit harder than we thought. We thought we'd be able to do it in the next few tries, but. He's <laughs> healing faster than you could damage him. Bro, oh he's God. healing so much. 
What are we supposed to do? After many attempts, we managed to get the fight down. So annoying. It's actually driving me insane. Come on, circle, just circle. Just circle. I'm gonna die. Go all in. Why is he aggroing you? Go all in. Kill that and kill that enemy. I'm gonna die. It's all you. No. Kill that enemy. Dude, he had like a hundred health and no, 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 no. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm gonna die. Okay, please, 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 please. You got this, 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 you got this. Please, please, please. Please. No. Let's go. Let's go, I beat him. Oh my god, bro. Let's that was go. so useless that round, man. Yeah, you suck. After we built a Plantera arena, we fought Plantera. Why is there a mimic? Bring her over here. There's a mimic. Oh my god. Oh no. I'm half health. Oh no. Here we go. Heal. I'm here. I'm here. Don't worry. I'm here for I you. I won't die. I won't die. I won't die. Look at me. I'm helping you. I'm helping you. I'm. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. I won't die. Yeah, Plantera. Then I killed a paladin in the dungeon, then bought the summon item from the deviant and started farming paladins. Because they drop holy knight alloys which can be used to make a lot of healer stuff. I made the fallen paladin's armor using the holy knight alloys. Here are the stats if you want to pause and read. Then we farmed in the post plantera dungeon, since enemies there can drop dark matter, a new material. Colts needed them to make his thrower stuff. Eventually, we just started farming Bone Lees by buying the summon item from the Deviant and spawning them, since they dropped the most dark matter. Then we farmed a Solar Eclipse for Mothrons. In Thorium, Mothrons can actually drop these materials called Broken Hero Fragments, which are used to make some cool weapons. After we killed a few Mothrons, I made the true Falling Twilight, basically a true Knight's Edge Scythe. Then I upgraded it into the Terra Scythe, basically a Terra Blade Scythe, and it actually shoots projectiles, so it actually has some good range. I went to the temple since we were getting ready to absolutely melt Golem. I mean, it's Golem, what can you expect? But I found out that enemies in the temple actually drop these materials called Solar Pebbles, which can be used to make a lot of cool stuff. I know there is so much cool stuff in this game. 39 gold just to reforge this thing. Nah, no, no, no. I'm not doing that. No, screw this thing. After building a platform in the temple, we summoned Golem. 3, 2, 1. All right, Golem. Hi, Golem. How's your day, bro? It does one damage to me. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Dude, Golem is such a joke. Let's go. We're tanking it. <laughs> I'm just gonna face tank. Come on. Look at me. I'm not taking anything. <laughs> Dude, this is so... Bro, th that was that such was a joke. That was not real. That was pathetic. That was not real. <laughs> bro. If you're, there is no if way. you're struggling with this boss, nah, man. You need to just stop playing the game. We decided to farm him again just for fun. Bro, that was absolutely just. Come on, look at me face so tanking him. Did he get a pixel? No. I got another one. Here, it. take it. I got two pixels. Then we looked for Martian probes to summon the Martian Madness. Since the Martian Madness has some nice loot we can get. I've over I've overestimated my ability. Oh god. Welcome to Baldi's Basics. Education and learning. We decided to look for Martian saucers since they were the one that dropped the good loot. Bro. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's here. All right, let's kill it. Die. Oh, no, no, no. I got hit by the laser. I got hit by it again. No. We managed to get another Martian saucer, though, and we killed it. Let's go. Where's Die. it going? Oh, my God. Thank you. And it dropped a and another bag. one. And there's another one. I got this healer support item called the Cell Reconstructor. It uses more mana than the Pocket Guardian, but it also heals more. And it homes just like the Pocket Guardian. Now we can place the relic. Oh yeah, what about the Golem relic? I think we probably. Who cares? No, uh, it'll be a disgrace to place that. Yeah, because that boss was so easy. I also bought the Lethal Injection and Dream Megaphone from the Cyborg. The Lethal Injection basically shoots out these needles, and the Dream Megaphone does this? Dream Megaphone? What the? <laughs> Wait, is that the Bard weapon? <laughs> the Dream Megaphone, that's a healer weapon, not a Bard weapon. What? Then we did both the Pumpkin Moon and Frost Moon because Colt just wanted to do them for completion's sake. I don't really know why. Then we went back to the aquatic depths, and we started mining out a space there. Why? 
It's because we wanted to fight the next boss, the Forgotten One. We couldn't build a big arena in time because the Forgotten One is actually summoned by killing these aquatic hallucinations that spawn in the aquatic depths. If you kill three of them, the boss spawns. And unfortunately, I was accidentally killing them, so we had to summon it early. Oh no. It's here. What? The forgotten one? Yep. Oh my god. My projectiles go way slower. I have to use the Terra Blade one. Oh my god. Circle around it. Where are all my torches? Oh. Dude, the torch god is spawning. Wait, what? Oh god, circle, 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 circle. I'm breaking some torches. Wait, 21 damage only? Oh god, it's not doing much damage actually. I think this is doable. Yeah, it's doable. It's not so bad. Why is right the now. torch god still on? Thingies. Oh, Forgotten One's shell violently cracks. Oh yeah, I got the torch god. I got I got the torch god. Same favorite. here, yeah. We're good now. Beating the torch god and fallen beholder, I mean the uh, Forgotten One at the same time. Oh god, oh, no. Oh my god. It's freed. Ow. Oh god, it's actually doing uh, some damage now. Bro looks so goofy. Damn me up, bro. We just killed the. <laughs> Damn me up, bro. We, we just killed the we just killed the, the forgotten one super easily. Oh, anything. I got a healer armor. Healer? Wait, the full set? Yes. Give me a whispering armor. Hibernation charm. Stop. Stop it. I like an escape from you. I swear to God, I hate you. <laughs> After we got a truffle worm, we summoned the Duke. Nothing really special here, it's just Duke Fishron, so I'll go through it quickly. Bro, he likes me. Hey. After we killed it, we farmed it for Fishron Wings. You think we could do two? I guess we'll find out. Oh God, no. Off my mount. Uh oh. Two. One, two, three. Bro, one. One. Alright, back in the water. I'm not going in the water, bro. Screw it. Screw that. Next one is in third. Oh, I got the fish on rings from one, that treasure bag. Let's go! Then we beat the Empress of Light. Three, yeah. two. He's here. There we go. Mommy of Light, finally. Bro, this is so underwhelming compared to Maskus mode. There we go. She's. I think she's gonna die. And she's dead. Mommy of Light has been defeated. After that, we beat the cultist. Oh. <laughs> Look at his health bar, bro. It's melting. Oh my god. Yeah, it is. Then why did I take 53, bro? How are you tanking everything? I don't know. Who cares? And he's dead. We got it anyways. And there's the Phantasm Dragon. The real boss. After the cultist was defeated, we were able to actually craft these materials called Terrarium Cores. They consist of basically every bar in the game, but they're used to make a lot of stuff. So after we mined up a lot of ores, we made a bunch of Terrarium Cores. We first tried the Terrarium Armor set, but it was actually very bad compared to the armor sets we were currently using. Then we destroyed the pillars. All the pillars actually dropped these fragments called Shooting Star Fragments, White Dwarf Fragments, and Celestial Fragments. And basically they're the fragments for Bard, Thrower, and Healer. The Shooting Star Fragments were useless since we were not Bard. After destroying the pillars, Moonlord spawned. And we beat it. But I still died a lot. Oh god, it's lagging. It's spazzing out. What? I didn't take damage from that? What? Bro, well, you're not taking any damage. I don't know what's with you. That's a rip. I mean, you got this, right? Why did I play healer? All right, his core is out. Oh, I, you died? I don't get why I played healer. I should have just went mage or something. I'm almost, uh, oh, dang. <laughs> I'll wait until you, like, respawn before I, like, you could probably respawn before I kill him anyway. Let's go. We did it. You did it. Huh? Yeah, funny. you were such a big help. I know, man. Let's go. Look at me healing you. You would have died, honestly, at least once if it wasn't for me healing you. I honestly don't think I would have. Now that we beat Moonlord, we still have one more boss left. So then I made the Terrarium Holy Scythe, and it was actually really good, but it didn't have much range. 
Is it good? Look at <laughs> Oh my god. Using Celestial Fragments and Luminite, I also made the Celestial Armor, a very powerful healer armor set. Here are the stats if you want to pause and read it. The last thing I did before the final boss was buy Moon Lord Treasure Bags till I got the Life and Death, a very good healer weapon that shot out these homing projectiles that can damage the enemy and heal allies. It heals people, Dang. it does damage and it only uses 6 mana. So then, we crafted the Doomsayer's Coin and we summoned the Primordials. Oh, they're targeting you. Are they doing dialogue or something? Oh, what oh my god. The? This is easy. Look at this. We just have to circle it. I think this is hard. Why is it targeting me only? I don't know, but that healing item you're using is so insane. I, at this way, it's just circling around, bro. This is lich, but easier. Why are you dying? I'm about to die. I'm actually about to die. Wait, how did I die? I don't know which projectiles are yours. These purple and yellow ones are mine. The ones that's oh, healing you right God. now. God, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Why am I on cursed flame? That cursed flame debuff is so annoying. What am I supposed to do? This is hard to stay focused in multiplayer because they're like on you. Three maybe, minutes maybe and twenty-one. If you didn't know, the primordials are a trio of bosses that we have to fight, and each primordial has a different attack. But once we kill all of them, the second phase begins, and Dream Eater spawns. Dang, I, I, I didn't use my technique in time, bro. Okay. No, 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 he does so much damage. Oh, dang it. It's safe to say that no matter how much times we tried, we kept dying. Oh, no. GG. Dang it. So we came up with a new strategy. I decided to get far enough to the point that the boss wouldn't aggro me, but close enough to the point that I can heal Colt. If we made the boss aggro Colt, no matter how much times he got hit, he would stay alive, since I'm healing him. Once we went to work with this plan, this happened. Look at its health bar. Oh, what? What happened to his health Dude, bar? It's so low. No, the Skyland. Recall. Heal me. I'm trying. You're healing. You are never going to die. You're invincible. Unless if Where's I- Oh at? god, it's chasing me. It's chasing me. No. I'm gonna try to get as far as I can so I, so I can- so no matter how much times you get hit. The healing is insane. Oh god, now it's on me. Why is it on me? Get off me. Bro, this is- we're getting so f close. Nah, 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 we got this. Come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah no, we actually got this. Yeah, we actually got- bro, he's solo. No, 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 no. What was that attack? I'm recalling, no, attack. I'm recalling, I'm yeah, recalling. Yeah, yeah. Nice. I'm here, I'm here. Bro, the strats. What is he doing? He's he's bugging. He's bugging. I'm I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here for you. Come on. We're so close. Oh my god, he's so low. We did it. The Primordials dropped the Ocean Essence, Inferno Essence, and Death Essence. I used those three essences to make the Dreamweaver armor. Here are the stats if you want to pause and read it. I also made three new healer items. The Reality Slasher, a scythe that damages everything on screen. The Lucidity, which takes away my health but does insane damage. And the Unbound Fantasy, which doesn't heal allies for a set amount, and instead it heals allies for 10% of their HP. I also used another accessory called the Omega Core, which is a guaranteed drop by the Primordials. And this is what it does. What is that? Dude. Bro, we're zooming. Nah, hold up, let's sleep. Summon the Primordials right now. He's about to catch these hands. Hard boss fight, am I right? Look at my movement speed. 
hard Bro, boss fight. look at the health bar. I'm gonna die. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? I, d I don't want to fight this boss anymore. Yeah, no, I'm not beating this again. Yep. Three, two, one. So hard. Let's go! We did it! <laughs> Let's go! Oh my god, the final boss! Let's go, we did it! The final boss has been defeated. All right, I'm leaving. Well, that's it for this video. What are my thoughts on Thorium? It sucks, it's horrible, it's the worst mod in existence. Alright, I'm joking, it's actually amazing. I was just having trouble playing healer, then again maybe I was playing it wrong, who knows. It was also way more fun than my other playthroughs because I actually got to play with someone else. Col Colossal's channel is in the description, go subscribe to him. He'll also be uploading his end on this playthrough as well. If you want to stay updated on my channel, join my discord. And also please subscribe, I want to get 100,000. And well, thanks for watching and see ya.